What is good YouTube, Warstu here with a video on Avengers Endgame. So this is the most requested video, to be honest, I don't even know why. Everyone wants me to do a video talking about the Living Tribunal. So during my live stream Q&A that I did on this Saturday, it was a random stream we did when I went on my iPhone and did it on FaceTime with the face camera. Everybody was asking for Living Tribunal based videos and I've digged a lot of information out which could indicate that there actually could be a different villain other than the Mad Titan himself. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We do Marvel DC pop culture videos all week long. Just dropped a Shazam teaser trailer video. So make sure to check that out. I'll leave it in a link at the end of the video. So recently it's been confirmed by Daniel RPK that the official main, okay, he's not saying it's the main, but generally the second trailer is the main trailer. We'll be dropping tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. PST time. So work it out, whatever that is in your country. So awesome. Shazam is looking awesome. So this is a Marvel based video though. So I keep getting asked this question. So there's a few reasons why we could actually be getting a second villain potentially. So there was a report a while back claiming that Doctor Strange would be in a pivotal scene in Avengers 4 with a character who's completely CGI but guys, this wasn't confirmed. People are trying to spin it that it's confirmed. I looked at it. It's really a plot leak. So it's not confirmed, but it is somewhat evidence. So that was evidence A. Evidence B. Do you remember there was a book that came out quite recently last year that says the following. There are hidden Thanos, the law speaker said, as though badgering a child because they're too powerful and because the Celestials and the others, the ones whom the Celestials fear, keep close, watch on the stones from afar. The novel isn't 100% canon. I went over about 10 websites, some saying it's canon, some saying it's not. But it isn't canon to the MCU. It's a book based on the Mad Titan, so partially it could be canon, not really 100% sure. However, it's curious that it mentions the Celestials. MCU fans will know that Ego from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 was one. This is pure speculation, but there is a chance that this could come into play during Avengers End Game. So, during last year, last December, director Joe and Anthony Russo revealed that Thanos has been taking it easy since the day he harnessed the power of the Infinity Stones, wiped out half of the life in the universe, defeated, decimated the Avengers. So they said this, he's retired, said Joe in an interview with Empire Magazine. He succeeded in the thing he set out to do. He's done it, he did it. At the end of the Endgame trailer, probably halfway in, Thanos literally hung his armor up on the Scarecrow, making his retirement official. Since he's put the armor and helmet he wore when he decimated half the universe with the decimation, destroying Hulk like he was nothing, Thanos believes he's fighted and beat conquering, leaving his conquest days over and he was victorious over the Avengers. Of course, in Avengers 4, they will regroup, launch a counter offensive movement against Thanos in Endgame. So of course the internet freaked out when they heard this, when the Russos said he's retired. It's like new villain return, new villain confirmed. Every single way, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, no one uses Facebook anymore because it's irrelevant, but absolutely everywhere. So let's get in to the video. So I think there's two potential characters who would actually make factual sense to bring to the MCU. Now one is one that most people probably haven't even heard of. I don't know, comment down below guys, if you have actually heard of this character. Yes, you guessed right, I'm on about Kronos. So let's get into the information that I've gathered. So a source who's been right in the past regarding various stuff in the MCU world, but they've also been wrong, so take it with a pinch of salt. So a while ago, I think six, seven months ago, Kronos' name appeared absolutely everywhere in connection with Avengers 4. For a while there have been rumors appearing everywhere that the cosmic character may be popping up in a movie. Whilst there was previous reports claiming that it was going to be the living tribunal, Kronos, 
makes a lot of sense if you put it together with who the character is and what he's known about the next Avengers movie. So Jim Starlin reportedly told a convention center last year that he received more credit in Avengers 4, meaning another one of his characters will be showing up. And he did create Kronos. He is an Eternal, which is something Marvel is putting and pushing a lot behind the scenes. He helped found the planet of Titan, which we saw in Avengers Infinity War, and that is where Thanos is actually from. He is the cosmic master of time in the Marvel Universe. The final point is huge, and why the rumors connect in all the previous rumors about Avengers 4. If Tony Stark and Avengers are jumping through time and making a mess of the timeline in an effort to get the Infinity Stones before Thanos, it would definitely get the attention of Kronos, who could then make an appearance in the movie. The role of the Eternals in Avengers 4 is still unconfirmed, uh, but we know there is actually an Eternals movie in the works. But Jim Starling, the creator of Thanos, recently suggested Avengers 4 will introduce another of his characters, and since Thanos is already in it, Kronos is the logical option. Guys, let me know down below. I know I didn't say this dude in the title, but there is actually a lot of evidence for him to appear. So the Living Tribunal questions keep appearing left, right, and center. We have great artists like Boss Logic making images for the Living Tribunal, etc. So there is actually some evidence for this as well. So I tried to put the clip in of Carl Mordo when he was using the staff of the Living Tribunal, but it got a copy claim, so I had to kind of delete that. So he said this, there is a relic, some magic is too powerful to sustain, so we object with it, allowing them to strain. We cannot. This is the staff of the Living Tribunal. There are many relics. Okay, so that's one premise for the Living Tribunal confirmed in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But, like I said at the start of the video, there is a report stroke leak stroke. I don't know what it is. It's definitely not a report. It's something that said Doctor Strange would have a pivotal role in a scene in Avengers 4 with a mystery character who is pure CGI. Similar to Strange Encounter with Dormammu, the mystery character, according to what people believe, is going to be the Living Tribunal, who is a cosmic entity and has limitless power and has major ties to Doctor Strange in the comics, I guess you could say. So you could argue that every soul that was snapped in existence in Avengers Infinity War is contained in some variation of the Soul Stone, except for Doctor Strange. The Living Tribunal will apparently summon Strange due to his previous knowledge of magic and the use of the Time Stone. So here's the deal. The Living Tribunal explains that Thanos Snap and its aftermath collapsed societies, intergalactic anarchy, etc. Having done too much damage to the universe, he thinks its best bet is to destroy it and create a new universe. Strange challenges to convince him otherwise. This very same storyline plays out in the comics when the Living Tribunal challenges Doctor Strange to prove that Earth is worthy of saving. In Avengers 4, Strange has the knowledge that there's one outcome, which doesn't really make sense, 14,604,000,000 possibilities as one outcome where the Avengers win. Now that's bad maths, seriously, that is bad maths. Where the Avengers beat Thanos, but the, like, the probability is much higher than that, which he tells the Living Tribunal. If the Avengers are successful, the Living Tribunal promises to spare the universe. Interest. With Marvel already confirming phase four of the MCU will be more cosmic than the last 10 years, introducing the likes of the Living Tribunal makes sense. Marvel already introduced Ego the Living Planet in Gardens of the Galaxy 2, which nobody expected. And obviously, whilst James Gunn was running the show, we got the post credit scene in the very same movie of Adam Warlock. So we know that Gardens of the Galaxy 3 is coming. It's just a case of when is it coming? So if said information is correct and all the points that I've brought up to you guys is correct, then there's a lot of precedent. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of kind of proof, evidence, whatever lingro you use to suggest that yes, the Living Tribunal could appear. Kronos could appear. Anyone could appear. But I think the Living Tribunal does make a lot of sense, mainly due to the Doctor Strange scene when Carl Mordo had the staff of the Living Tribunal, or would they leave the Living Tribunal to come up in Doctor Strange 2? Although I can't really see the Living Tribunal being the villain of Doctor Strange 2, 
but can you guys? So this is a requested video from the live Q&A live stream that I actually did. So what's gonna happen guys is, let me know everything in the comment box down below. I am gonna drop a website, then we're gonna have a forum where we can all talk. There's a podcast coming, you can all send questions in. It's all gonna be cool. But I'm gonna be doing a trailer breakdown for the Shazam trailer tomorrow. I might even do a quick live stream when it comes out at two. I think it's coming out at 2 p.m. UK GMT time. So I might do a quick live stream on the channel on my phone like I did last time. If it does come out, I'm not going to do a trailer reaction. Like I, I mean, I've got a decent camera now, so I could do that, but I don't believe trailer reactions are any good, to be honest. But I'll do a full breakdown of the trailer, but it will most likely be what Daniel from Super Bright Movies did report. He reported the description of it. And to be honest, the teaser yesterday was awesome. But like I said, guys, don't worry. The Marvel content is not going anywhere, but I will be adding, adding a bunch of DC, like Detective Pikachu, and a bunch of other stuff. Hopefully some of you guys will enjoy that stuff. If you do, please let me know in the comments down below. That would be much appreciated. Any recommended videos you want me to do. And I am getting a new microphone very soon. So my voice might start to sound a bit different in about a week or so. But we're upgrading the mic because as the channel gets bigger, we upgrade stuff. I invest the money back into the channel that we make on this channel to improve the quality. And the editing skills may go up a bit because I'm getting a kick-ass gaming computer pretty soon so i have a lot more power to play with anyway guys let me know all your comments down below i am currently playing the new mario game on the switch don't know if any of you do to play in it awesome game i'm trying to get to know you guys trying to be more transparent trying to get you to know me personally so i may drop a few comments randomly at the end of these videos hopefully it doesn't annoy any of you guys if it does i might drop that and leave that for live streams but i want to live stream a lot more i am a twitch affiliate but like uh, it's harder to interact with you guys on twitch because obviously this is the usual youtube platform anyway guys let me know all your comments down below would be much appreciated and i will catch you guys in another video make sure to share like subscribe and all that good stuff and i will see you tomorrow with that shazam trailer breakdown if it does actually come out and we should be live streaming around the time it comes out for at least one hour anyway guys i will catch you in that video very soon catch you later